Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the creepy basement where I have a little bit of a project that I want to involve you with or show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm renovating my bathroom or trying to make it a little bit better. I had the ceiling done up there and now the ceiling is, is so tight. Can you say that? This, well, it's so closed off. It's not leaking everywhere, so I have a problem with humidity in the bathroom. I need a fan to suck out the air when I've been taking a bath. So, and I want a smart fan, so I am gonna try and build me one. So, let's see what we have here. I have a fan here, and this fan is, well, it's not stupid. It is actually already a humidity controlled fan. So, we can kind of hear that. You, you can hear it clicking there that's when it reaches the humidity there is a switch that goes on and off that's about how smart it is and I have already loosened the screws on it and I've been down here and and that's the switch that uh, all this part is the humidity sensor and the only thing it does is that when the humidity is high enough it uh, closes these two connections so there off on off it works like that this is a 220 to 240 volt fan so that's that part let's get a screwdriver and see the rest of it i have had this open to check it out and see what we were dealing with here So normally you would connect 220 volts here and go out wherever you need the connection and that would be the fan. I want to add some more smart in it. So I have bought one of these. I think this is more or less a local one. It's sold here in Denmark and yeah what this is we can just have it out. It's an on off smart device and it will it will work with a lot of good stuff and they don't really say it. it's a Zigbee and it's Philips Hue compatible I want to work this in here and this is actually also dimmable 200 or 400 watts I am not sure which is which but it comes with a manual here that we're gonna be checking out as well especially the diagram of how this is uh, wired up like uh, it has a push button that if you push the button, well, it can turn on the device. In this case, it's a light bulb and how it should be connected up to 220 volts and so on. And this connector up here, I am thinking about connecting it to this humidity sensor so that this device will uh, turn on and off the fan and maybe even dim it, if you can say that, to turn the fan speed up and down and um, when the humidity sensor kicks in well it will um, it will trigger this switch and that way we have kind of built a smart fan that's the general idea but first i think i need to get this thing up and running i have no doubt that this thing works it's so well we might test that but i think this is good to go this one i have never tried that one before so we might want to build that and see how that goes. Also, I am a bit uncertain if um, this switch, normally it's just a press and release switch, what happens if that keeps being pressed in? What will happen? Will it smoke? Will it just ignore it? I have no idea. So, yeah. This is, uh, I, I connected a wire and we're just gonna check if this works before we build a lot of stuff. Oh, it blows right away. Um, and there is a little light thingy here that we need to figure out how it works as well. It's also connected to 220 volts in some way. I need to measure that. I think I need to measure how much the voltage is over that light bulb if that will just run or how that works. Right now it's, uh, I think it's just turned off there when it reaches uh the humidity i am a bit confused right now so ah okay right now there it turns on 
So we are at about 40 or something, which is really weird because it's really humid down here. Um, it has been raining for so long, so I have a little bit of a water problem in the basement, but never mind that. So, okay, I want to check that light bulb. How much power does that see, or how? What's the voltage that it sees? So I don't fry that. I am guessing that might be AC voltage. Let's turn it on. Um, it has two white wires, one here and one goes over here. So I'm just gonna measure between those two. And they feed it 227 volts. Awesome, that we can work with. So this is more or less the diagram. Oh, I should have had it. That one is N and this one is L. So we have power coming from the grid, goes in, uh, hits directly to the motor and it hits directly to this LED, which is not an LED, it's just a light bulb. It doesn't matter which way you turn this, it can go both ways, so it's not an LED. Both of them goes down to this humidity switch down here that then go out. So when this one is triggered, it turns on both, so very easy. We can work with that. Okay, so I have been messing with this. I'm trying to replicate this drawing here. Uh, maybe I should just check everything. The contact goes, one goes directly to L, just goes down there instead of up, yes. And the other one goes up to the switch and goes out of the switch and over to the N. Yes, and power comes in. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I have a big beefy 100 watt light bulb here that we're gonna try and power. And I have my phone here that I'm gonna try and connect to this device over Philips Hue. It's gonna show up as a light source. It's weird as heck. Oh, and I have my little contact here. I should probably figure out if this is on and off before we connect anything. Yes, make sure that we are not short circuiting everything just from the start. So that's off. Okay, maybe we should just write off. And that one is on. Scientific, I know, off. So let's power this and you get a first glance of everything blowing up. It's gonna be awesome. Hmm. Nothing, kind of boring. Okay, let's search for something. See if anything shows up. Searching for a device. Let's try and power on. Be oh, there, it found the new device here and it calls it a hue white light, uh, awesome. But it has the manufacturer name on it, so we're gonna call this um, fan control or something. There, this is okay. Yep, it eats that one. Let's see, what could we find? Something with a fan, do we have a fan anywhere? Let's call it a bloody Christmas tree. Okay, there, and that one is new, okay. So let's add that to the bathroom. I think we do that in here. Rooms and zones. Bathroom. There. Add that one. Save. Cool. Close. Let's see what happens. Bathroom. Oh, Christmas tree. I'm just gonna try and press this and see if any light comes out. Oh, it does actually. So I had to turn off the bulb. That was brilliant. Thank you very much, Morton. So we can... Hmm. Oh, it does actually turn it up and down. That is brilliant. And of course, this doesn't work. It might be controlling the other light out there. Oh. Oh. Oh, we have all of those weird lights out there, so... Christmas tree, thank you. Okay, that works. So what happens when we turn it? Let's turn it off. And let's uh, try and turn it on. 
Okay, it doesn't know. Oh, it did actually turn on. And then I can turn it off. Okay, so we can turn it on by using the switch. Can we turn it off again? We can. Okay, we are very far ahead uh, with this project. It's going really well. Base has passed and I think it's time to try and combine these two. The switch and the light bulb is going to be replaced with the fan and the humidity sensor. So um, yeah, I'm going to be taking this apart. Oh, and we need to connect that LED as well. But with this drawing over here, that's going to be very simple. Okay, so I have replaced the, the light bulb with the fan and the little well, it's not an LED, it's a, it's a light bulb that sits down here. And I kind of figured out that I have to mount the box over here. If, um, and it can probably just sit like, like this. Uh, I haven't checked that yet, but I think it can just... Can it? Is it too high? No, I think that will do. Maybe. Yeah, that is going to be great. Except this is just not going to be able to go in there. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it can sit over here. The wires will be able to reach there. So, yeah, that's probably a better idea. So now I'm going to replace the, the switch here with the humidity sensor. Just shortening up a wire here that brings power to the switch. So that can go underneath and not be a whole lot of a mess. There, way more neat. Okay, so the fan is going to be sitting mounted on the ceiling and it's going to be upside down like this. I want to be able to use the, this thing. Uh, so I need the power cable to come out and uh, the closest way to the to where the power sits is going to be right here. So underneath here, I want to drill a little hole for this power cable to come out of. So yeah, we need to find a drill that is about the right size. I think this will do. And I'm What did I break? Nothing important. Good. Okay, so that looks like this uh, cable is coming out here. Um, there is a bit of a mounting point here for the, the power. So I've used that and I've just brought the cable around and I'm gonna bring it into the Nortronic. Yeah, Nortronic thinky. And uh, yeah, I guess we should be... Um, well, I haven't put this switch on yet. Working on it. Okay. I think we are about there. Um, just need to do a bit of wire uh, organizing here. This one goes down there, out of the way. This power cable would be very nice to have further down. That was not possible, was it? Is it? Oh, yeah, it goes further down, out of the way. Thank you. There, and a light diode cable, and this thing, and the antenna can go that away. Yeah, that's not bad. Stuck in there really nice. There are some sitting points here. That is for adjusting the dimming on the light bulb. Um, this motor might say weird noises when we do that. So uh, yeah, I think we are ready to try and, and stuff some power onto this and see if yeah, if, if we get some smoke this time, um, I, I'm not hoping for that. But you never know. Power is on. So what happens if we trigger this? Oh, it turns up very slowly. Interesting, but it did turn on. Cool. Go into the hue here and stop that. Okay. Bathroom. And we have that Christmas. Um, I called it the Christmas tree, so we can do that. And can we adjust it down then? We can. 
I don't think we can change the color of it, but yeah, it's not running as fast. That is cool. It's uh, it's a bit more noisy. Well, actually, it's not. But yeah, and we can just turn it off, and we can turn it on again. I like that. I would have to mess with uh, what happens when that switch is activated. Don't touch it more than there is power on that because it would be very cool to put it in the bathroom and when the humidity sensor is triggered, well, the fan blows for X amount of minutes and then turns off again. So um, yeah, I would uh, probably mess around with that. Awesome. I'm messing with the variable speed here and I found if I turn it down too low it will actually turn off. It's still running and it stopped. There is not enough power for it there so that's so I 50% seems 50% is good. That is about well, maybe it will go a little bit lower than 50. Let's try 45. Let's see if it will do 45. 45. No, it stops. Let's run it up again. Let's try 48. 48. Will it keep running or will it stop? It keeps running, but it makes no sense to have it run that slow. So I think 50 is going to be the thing. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm I'm turning the fan speed down and I can see it shows me the percentage of power that it's well it's giving it and the thing is that then we should be able to press this uh, minimum setting over here uh, without electrocuting ourselves so Let's see how it works now. Now it's at a 100%. So let's turn it down to 1%. Oh, it doesn't look good. It stopped. I guess that was too low. But now it goes way further down. more power we can go down let's try 10 percent still goes at 10 percent five percent five percent okay maybe all the way down is actually closed so let's try one one percent will actually run it so i think we're good to go it's just when i turn it all the way down it's the same as off apparently so zero percent yeah i like this this is cool have to figure out uh, the buttons and stuff but i want to put the box on here and um, make it ready to install i found that i could mount this plastic thing uh, and still have that there and the antenna can go that way i hope if it just wanted to stay there and it does not tape taped and we can put the cover back on so cool i made a new smart fan and uh, yeah i just control it from my phone but I would be able to use Home Assistant for this as well. 
like um, my radiator thermostat in the bathroom actually has humidity sensors built in so if I could um, go into that data and have the radiator thermostat tell me when the humidity becomes too high and have this one as well I could decide which one I wanted to use they could kind of talk together so when the fan goes on if this if this is triggered and the fan goes on, it could tell the radiator thermostat to turn off. So a smart fan like this is kind of cool. I also have a motion sensor in the bathroom to turn the lights on. So the smart thing would be uh, not to have the fan turn on immediately, but when the lights has been on in the bathroom and I leave after doing bomelum, well, maybe the fan should go on. Of course, it doesn't know if I did bomelum or bimling or cool. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day, bye bye.